Bibles to Revelation chapter 3. Revelation chapter 3. We want to conclude the epistle to the church at Laodicea in verses 21 and 22. Uh, but let's begin by reading verse 21. To him that overcometh, I will grant to sit with me in my throne, even as I also overcame and am set down with my father in his throne. Let's pray. Our Father, we do thank you. We praise you for the great salvation that you've provided for us in your son. And we ask now that your Holy Spirit would teach us in this passage tonight, help us to learn from it. And God, we just pray that we might uh, be motivated to live for you as a result. In this we pray in Jesus' name, amen. Tonight we're going to look at the promise that the Lord gave to the believers in uh, the church at Laodicea, the ones he addressed as the overcomers. And every one of the seven churches had a promise to, uh, that the Lord gave. And in this particular church at Laodicea, there's a lot of fascinating theology that is found in this passage. It requires a little careful examination, and we're going to do that tonight. And I think it will help us to better understand uh, our position as dispensationalists. Uh, and in particular, we need to distinguish between the throne of Christ and the heavenly throne of the Father. So here, 